today on Tim and Matt Play. Today. We're playing. We're playing. Well, Tim's playing. Tim has played. I played, and I I play. Tim and Matt played. Tim and Matt <laughs> are going to talk about Clash of Clans. That's our intro video after It'll that. It'll be like the Mario Clash of Clans, Fireworks. and it goes <laughs> into the, our intro animation. Oh, our, our really well done yeah, like intro our, animation. It's like our My, MySpace autoplay music. <laughs> okay, before we start this, that is one thing that pisses me off about YouTube videos. Like, especially gamer, I'll put that yeah. in air quotes, scare quotes. Mm. Um <laughs> The fireball with the yeah. logo, like, boom. Well, like, they'll, they'll always be like, okay, this is our show, and it'll be the same episode every time, but the intros will be, like, 32 seconds to a oh, minute yeah. long of, like, this is something I made in my first attempt at Adobe After Effects, and it yeah. takes so long to get yeah. to the talking or doing whatever the hell you're going to do. So how do you feel about uh, Good Mythical Morning's intro video? It's quick. It's, it's like fast. 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's very quick. That's fine. Yeah. It's it's just the chicken with the fire and yeah. it's all good. <clears throat> good Mythical Morning. I'm oh, I'm totally okay if you want to like, j just to get the viewer into like, oh, this is what I'm watching now. Like, right. Poof. I do like it. Like it, you know, TV shows have it, little in intro. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't need to be... That's like, why it's like they used to. You go to a website and the flash animation to open their website. Be oh like, yeah, right. it's it's it is that, but for the more modern times. Yeah, that's why like after sitcoms, like they have their like, you know, uh, like heartfelt intro or whatever. Right, right. And in after season one, they're just like chop it off, give it the oh, names, yeah. just go. go they did with go. Scrubs. Nobody hated it. Yeah, I know. Remember the short one for Scrubs? I know that was dumb. They should have just left the short people one. Just like that song. Yeah, I think it is. They don't. He, they're no Superman. Right, no, you're not. <laughs> Clash of Clans! Clash of Clans! This episode's Are we going to leave so that all in there? I think so. I mean, that's as long... That should be our intro for every video. Just the, that 30-second rant. I view this as videos. a Let's Play and a podcast <laughs> in one. Yeah, a Let's, a let's Cast. Yeah, a Let's Cast. Oh, yeah. How about a pod play? Internet famous. <laughs> let's Cast Pod Let's play. Cast Pod Plays. All right, so I play Clash of Clans. And, and I don't. Matt does not. <laughs> and so, But we live together in an apartment! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. <laughs> That'll be my catchphrase. In our goodness, sitcom. Gracious. goodness gracious me. Um, and recently, uh, they've been doing a lot of updates and stuff, and it's been necessary for me to develop a better attack. Because in wars, it's so easy when you're Town Hall 8, and you can just mass drag all the time. Early Town Hall 9, mass drag. Matt knows what that means. I am all no on these. Uh, you can just spam dragons and it pretty much wins. But then you get into mid-range TH9, Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9. You gotta up your game. So, um, today we're talking about Lava Loon attacks. Okay. Which, for Matt, is Lava Hound and Balloons. Okay. Basically. So those are like units you can build. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll go into more detail in, in the video. I played RTSs. Like, I played StarCraft for a long time. Yeah. I played Warcraft for a long time. You know how this type so, of I know works. how RTSs yeah. work. Let's, let's play it. Alright, we're playing it. Supercell. Loading. And loading. So, after the update, they just did a really big update. And it takes a lot longer to load. It's because you have that old device, the yeah, Note 4. Note That's not 4. the Note 5 at all. Disgusting piece of garbage. <laughs> now, I have the Note 3, and it is. It's actually frustrating how quickly that got obsolete yeah. and is not really great just, Every time I take my phone out, I just know everyone around <laughs> me is judging me and hating me. Um, so, Wow, this is a long time. Oh, yeah, it takes a long time. It, it's been faster lately, but it does... I don't know, it's a long time. So Whoa, here, what the hell? <laughs> this is like a bubblegum forest. <laughs> this is my regular village. Oh, you're part of the Purdue, Purdue alumni, alumni clan. clan. Oh, look at what you use to type. <laughs> What's uh, There's nothing wrong with a little 8-pin. Oh, gosh. I tried to do that. It's way slower for me. <laughs> you are rocking this we war. We are rocking this war, guys. Okay, so uh, here's here's the war map. Um, Deadly uh, buffers. As you can see, I have not been attacked, but my first attack was a 1-star. Terrible. And then second one, well, we're going to look at the second attack. Three started. Is this game um, asynchronous where do you have to be at your phone when you're getting attacked or no, can no, you no. send yeah. attacks and get attacks like at later? Yeah. It's That's just, nice. It's yeah, it's good. That is it's not real time. So this is but the it base I'm cool attacking. Time. It's Town Hall 9 base. Um, and what I noticed about this base was that the air defenses, which uh wait a second, are I'm gonna click on those buildings right there. They're kinda close together. They're in range 
like an, one earthquake spell can hit both of those. And if you use Zapquake, which is two lightning strikes and an earthquake, it takes out an air defense. So I'm going to double Zapquake those two, get rid of them, and I'm using a kill squad. Kill squad! It's kill squad! Of two golems, some wizards, to get rid of the right hand air defenses, and the Archer Queen and the CC troops. Like so, clan how troops. do you, would you say that they have a pretty good castle? This is our, I don't think this layout is good. Their air defense are too close together. Um, it's okay, but it's not what I would use. So what happens if you lose, like, so someone's attacking you. I'm yeah. sure that happens, right? It happens. What do you, if your defenses fail, what happens? They just get all your gear? Yeah, well, in war, they get stars. And the clan with the most stars wins the war and gets a bunch of loot. Okay. Normally, Does it reset yeah. after the war, or do you lose whatever you well, lost? Your war layout is different than your normal layout. Gotcha. And it doesn't affect your actual loot and stuff. But yeah, if you get attacked in, in real, in your real base, you do lose lose your stuff. So my kill squad is going in right now. I messed up the wall breakers, but they still they still punched a hole. My golems are, are drawing fire. Golems are those big guys. I see them. They're pretty much tanks. The double oh, is that the one that's all dizzy? Right now? Oh no, no no, it's the one behind the dizzy guy. Um, the dizzy guy, yeah, he's knocked out. They're the two like. Stone, gotcha. stone dudes. They're, Makes sense. They're drawing fire. My archer queen's right behind him, shooting stuff up. She's taking out their archer queen right now. Boom. Uh, the double zap quick already went down to take out those left two air defenses. So now I'm, I'm dropping the lava hound. He flies straight for the air defenses, and once those are out, he'll take. He'll go I see him. He's defenses. in the upper right. No, he's in the lower right too. Yeah, I dropped two of them. This one I'm using hounds to take out this wizard tower. Uh, because wizard towers are awful. They're really good at taking down balloons because they have Those splash are the balloons damage. Up there. And yeah, balloons are going up there. Are so, these your balloons? These are my balloons. And wizards to kind of clean up the trash. So <laughs> it's kind of a complicated attack. Uh, I took a while to, to set it all up. But basically, kill squad goes in to take out some air defenses and their troops that are inside the clan castle. Uh, I use spells to take out the left-hand side air defenses. What do the balloons drop? Do they drop anything? Bombs? Balloons drop bombs. So okay. they balloons are nice because they go straight for de the closest defensive building. Mm -hmm. um, lava hounds are great because they're basically tanks, but they go after the air defense. They skip over all the other stuff, drawing fire for the balloons to come in behind them. Gotcha. And when the lava hounds um, die, they pop into nine little lava pups, which are the little orange dudes. <laughs> So once the other defenses are gone, they can just kind of clean up the mess that's left out. So it looks like this place got pretty. Oh yeah, I wrecked up. it. I, I wrecked it. All Hashtag good. wrecked. And my wizards are gonna take a hike from the bottom all the way up the sides. So because mess. this isn't real time, there's nothing they can do. You set it up and kind of hope that the other person doesn't go through. Yeah, it. Yeah, you you load your clan castle with defensive troops. You set up your base in a way that you hope it's gonna be good, but you can't do anything during an attack. To it's just you just see it happen it's afterwards. Yeah. Uh, we're going to watch this again. Okay. Sped up. Just because, I don't know, I wanted to... So, just like a recap. Oh, 4X. That is so many Xs. Kill squad going in. Boom, boom, boom. Their dragon comes out. I take it out with the Archer Queen. Uh, Archer Queen takes out the air defenses. Double zap quake on their left two air defenses. Lava hounds and balloons. Lava hounds and hogs. Hogs jump over walls, so it's kind of nice. And they go straight for defenses as well. Man. And then wizards just, just getting take out the toe nice up. So, I thought it was a pretty successful attack since it. Uh, the since only thing that went wrong was the wall breakers at the beginning. I dropped. I timed them wrong, so they got taken out by a lot of splash damage. But I still punched a hole in the in the one wall, so the golems could get through. Toe up from the flow. Up. Yeah. Taken out. Boom. So normally... So um, when you have a war, it's usually with people in your clan, right? Yeah, you, you have, you're... So you like get assigned, like, I'm going to go take this out. Yeah, we usually, we usually go uh, an even attack. So if I was number eight down... I'm number six. So my first attack was against their number six. Okay. And I didn't do a good job. So I dropped down for cleanup. So now we're going to watch another attack. Okay. I paused it. Yeah, I'll, I'll set it back. To I took some zero. liberty to pause. That's fine. Um... It looks all wintry because they did a like a Christmas update. Cool. But it's another lava loon attack, so it's going to be more lava hounds and balloons. Um, but I'll just pause it. I don't know why I paused it. I didn't need to. Because it's loading? Yeah. I forgot. It takes a long time. Um, <clears throat> this is against a different person? Different. Same war? Different, different war. clan war. Different, different war. war. Different base. Um, 
See, it's like it's all snow. Snowy Christmas update. So, in the war, I am number 13. And we're going to watch my attack on their number 13. You already did it or are you doing it now? I already did it. Okay. That's why I knew it was good. So, I <laughs> went, <laughs> went back and recorded the replay. So, in this base, I thought... Um, so, their walls are purple. They used to be black. What's the difference? The purple walls are a lower level. Okay. So, they haven't upgraded all their walls to the, the black walls yet. So, um, I think I'm going to come in from the right-hand side with a kill squad for golems and then wizards in that, those spots. Um, drop my two heroes, the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen, and then I'll bring in hounds and uh, balloons. Is every... Uh grid the same the size is always the same the same yeah okay you can just place your stuff around where you want so i think uh, my plan on this one doesn't go exactly the way i wanted so my golems are going in they go straight for that first defense and they're just going to pound on it for a while while these guys clear some stuff up so i'm going to use a jump spell instead of wall breakers that's that green circle that just showed up so my guys can just jump over the walls so this game is like very almost tower defense on defense and um, like a tower defense game is what I mean, not like, I know yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. you're doing. And then it's RTS on the offense. Yeah, so um, with wars, you kind of have to look at the base and the way it looks and then decide how you're going to attack uh, based on the way they have their stuff set up. How do you determine who you're fighting in a war? It's random. Like you just, you start a war search and it kind of matches you up with, with a clan that is Ranked. similar to yours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's some algorithm that uh, Supercell uses. I'm not sure what it is. Sure. I'm sure that is their property. It's yeah. Proprietary. Uh, I don't. I don't know how they decide, but so I dropped two lava hounds on the top one. They went straight for that air defense, and one on the left. And I really wanted that um, the one on the bottom to be taken out already, but my kill squad didn't get that far. So now the balloons are susceptible. Uh, they would have been, but my hounds looks like they lasted long enough. So they're they're on that bottom one now. Oh, nice. Balloons are going to be able to take it out. I think the annoying thing sometimes it happens is the lava hounds don't die. Like there's one that just exploded into those lava pops, mm-hmm. but sometimes they don't. And lava hounds they're really slow. They don't have a lot of uh, offensive power. Mm-hmm. They're basically just tanks. They're like meat shields. So when they don't pop into those pops, it like it takes a lot longer, and it might not. You want to get the timing right. So, so you want you want to see them pop sometimes. Yeah, you want them you want them to uh, die pretty much just as the balloons get to the air defense and destroy it, because then they're gonna. Huh. That's be, like probably pretty hard to do. It's yeah. Sometimes the timing is rough, and it, it's nice when there are traps like air traps that can help with that. But um, so this one came down right to the wire. I finished with like four or five seconds left, um, but I did get the three star. So boom. Ooh, Did three it. stars. Yeah. What level are you guys? Um, what level is your clan? I don't... Well, we're a level 8 clan. And there are 10 levels. Oh, wow. You guys are pretty close, we're then. We're pretty good. I, the, it's harder and harder to get to gain levels. When, mm-hmm. uh, but, you know, we're, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Well, that's awesome. I actually like that game more than I thought I would. You should it, play. I'm probably not going to play. I have a million games to play. You could join the clan because uh, you are... I am a Purdue alumni. A Purdue I, alumni. This is like... This This video is a super spoiler of where we are from and what... Oh, like. yeah. <laughs> I think that everybody knows if they care. I think we've mentioned it before. Yeah. So, I will... Not all my attacks are that good, but... If I have other good ones, yeah, that are interesting. That was interesting. We can and do I, more classic and a lot videos. of people play it, so maybe people would be interested. Yeah, in we it. can or like, tell you how much you suck. This is totally <laughs> fodder for for views, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Tell us how much we suck. Tell Tim how much he sucks. Tell us to to hurry up and don't put anything in the front. Tell us our intro of seven seconds is too <laughs> too long. This is this is uh, bush league. Bush league. Wow, that took me a long time to think of that. <laughs> oh boy. Well, next time. On the next time.